it's Helen again for another weekly update for the Woody's Roundup Readathon. Again, I've been rubbish this week. It got to late Wednesday and I realised I hadn't done any blog footage. So I thought I'll just wait till the end of the week again and fill you all in. Uh, this week I finished uh, the selection by Kira Cass. That was a reread for me, but I loved it just as much. I just love the relationships between Maxine and America and America and Aspen and it's just I'm all here for it again just love it so I will be reading The Elite in March so yeah I really love that then I finished my um, buddy read with um, Key from uh, Books and Key uh, Daisy Jones and the Six uh, I've finished it early, uh, we were still going to do a section next week but we'd both finished the third section like midweek and I thought yeah I'm just going to finish it now because um really enjoying it. Oh, the selection by Kira Cast that was for the monkey prompt read a book, uh, read an audio book or a loud book so that was the audio book that I read. This was for the stealing the soldiers, um, read a book with a team or squad involved and I thought well a band is like a team or squad isn't it so that's what I was going for really enjoyed it this is the second book that I've read by Taylor Jenkins Reid I didn't love this one as much as I loved Evelyn Hugo but this was still up there so I would definitely read more by Taylor Jenkins Reid then um, I did some live sprints this morning with um, the lovely Mel from a book fiend named Mel and Ellie from I think it's Earl Grey Books. That was our first time of meeting doing the sprints. It was lovely. Um, so we did this um, just two hours of chatting and I think we did about three sprints and it made sure that I practically finished the Strange World Travel Agency by L.D. Lipinski, which is actually my team book for Team Sunnyside Dacre for the readathon. Um, Originally, I was going to use that for the prompt uh, lots of for a forgotten book because I've had it on my Kindle for that long and I keep forgetting about it. But I, this week, I tried to read my um, intimidating book, The Big Baby Prompt, which was postscript by Cecilia Hearn. And I knew it was going to feature um, death in some capacity because obviously the letters that Jerry sent to you... I forgot her name. I forgot her name, but... Um, the main character in the book, um, the Holly, the letter that he sent to Holly, obviously, well, I don't want to spoil it, but he was poorly and he sent these letters to her. Um, but it's leading on from that and other people um, getting in touch with her, wanting to do a similar kind of thing as her husband did for her. Um, and I just was, I knew I wasn't going to enjoy it. I started listening to the audio book and reading the book at the same time because I've never done that before. And I think I will try that again, but I just couldn't finish that book. I don't, I think I only got like, I didn't get very far through a couple of chapters and I knew it wasn't going to be for me. And I thought I'm not wasting my time with it. Um, so if you loved PS I Love You, you probably would really love Postscript. But I think, I don't know if I actually ever read the book. I think I watched the film, but I got the gist of it. Um, I knew the gist of it. So I just thought I could go straight into this book, which I could have done, but I just didn't really want to for the subject matter so I thought you know what I'm going to use the strange world travel agency because I can use that to get rid of any prompt I'm going to get rid of the intimidating book one because I couldn't think of anything else I wanted to read in its place so now I've got to think of another book to read for um lots of forgotten book but that should be easy because I'll just go down to my TBR cart and I'm sure I'll find one there that I haven't thought of for a while or back on my kindle and um, but I'm now in the middle of my is it, is it, yeah, my Ken prompt, which is read a book with a beautiful cover. So I'm starting on Ramesa by Radia Hafiza, and it is a proof copy from that I got from Macmillan. So once I've finished with it, I'll just pass it on to somebody else in the booktube community. But I'm on page 30. Um, I've only started that part way through today, so I think it's going to be a really quick read. Um, so I'm going to try and finish quite a bit of that tonight and tomorrow. So once I've finished this one and done my Lotso book, that's the whole of Team Sunnyside Dacre characters. And then it's just stealing, stealing um, other characters. I've already stolen Buzz and the soldiers. So, um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with how it's going. And I found this month very relaxed with reading and I thought this needs to continue. Um, so if I've been having a bit of a think about it, I've got my Scrabble TBR 
a video up already that I'm doing next month. Um, Mel from a book fiend named Mel, she picked my, my trees this month. But once that's done, April is going to be your revision of thorns. So what I've decided to do is I'm not going to read, I'm not going to do a Scrabble TBR in April because um, your revision of thorns starts partway through April. So I'm just going to mood read for the first three weeks of April. Then I'm going into your revision of thorn for a month um, reading the country's books. It's about 40 countries. I'll probably, last time I got through, about 22. So I'm looking about 20 books that I'll manage to read for that. Um, and then obviously there won't be a TBR in May because I'll already be doing your revision -a And then in June, I'm going to ask Sam to do Scrabble and Sam um, TBR game. And then I'm going to ask Kim from Expedition Three Pages if she will um, let me take part in a... Um, oh, I can't. Our expedition trail TBR. I can't remember the full name of it, but I'm going to ask her if I can do that in July with her. She she does her own TBR that way, and then she she's happy to do four roles for somebody else. So um, yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to go, and I'm I'm looking forward to April for that reason because I can just buddy read for a bit. Um, but this week my extra reading has been these two. So we have been um. Me and Andy always wanted a dog together, but when we got together, because we both worked full time, we didn't think it was fair to leave a dog in the house all day on its own. So that's why we got Tree Colour Cat, because she's a lot less, um, she's a lot more uh, low maintenance. Um, she's quite happy doing her own thing. She's an indoor cat, so she builds the roost in here. She's got the house to herself most of the time. Well, not now during lockdown, but she did have. And then obviously when we got Sophie, you know, Chico wasn't sure, but she was, she was okay. She just kept herself to herself. So even though Chico's still a bit nervous at times, she's, you know, she's quite happy here and Sophie get along most of the time. Um, but Sophie's got such a love for dogs. Every time we go out, she goes up to people and says, excuse me, do you mind if I can stroke your dog? And we just, everywhere we go, she just wants to stroke every dog. Um, and she just loves animals and they seem to love her as well. So me and Andy are thinking, well, actually, Andy's working from home full time now. And it looks like that's going to continue for quite a long time into the future. Um, and I obviously work part time now because um, when I had Sophie, that's what I chose to do. So that's what we're looking at. So even if because we've got a lot of things to think about, you know, we need to find a dog that will suit with Sophie. We need to find a dog that we hope will suit with Treacle. It could be a year before we even start really looking. Um, we're thinking a puppy will be better because lots of people have told me that if you get a kitten, not a kitten, if you get a puppy and you've already got a full grown cat, the puppy seems to let the cat rule the roost and, and they get along OK in most cases. And actually, the prices of dogs have gone up a lot during um, lockdown, and I understand why, because everybody wants one. Um, and it's not certainly not a rash decision that we're making. We, you know, we want this to be long term, so we need it to work for us. But I, I'm all, especially working in a library. The minute I have any thoughts about any kind of subject, I turn to books for the answers. So I'm reading up on the kind of dog that we were originally thinking we might get, cocker spaniel. We will see where we go, but it's good to read up on it. And even if it is in a year, a year and a half's time, we're a bit more prepared. So that's where I'm up to. So that's my extra reading. And uh, yeah, that's where where everything's going. So there's my update. Um, I will try and vlog for the last week of the readathon, but if I don't, you'll just get an update um, at the weekend of how I've done. But you'll get the complete update of everything that I've read. So I, this works out well because I need to try something new with my wrap ups because I get to the end of the month and I can never remember the title of books. I can never remember the author of books. I can't remember what's happened in them, any of the character names. But what on the Woody's Roundup Readathon uh, sprints that I did with some of the girls, they mentioned maybe doing like a vlog style wrap up after each book that I've read so that by the time I get to the end of the month, I've already got my thoughts there fresh after I've just read the books. So I am considering that as well. So this is a good way of thinking about that. So that's where I'm up to and I will speak to you soon.